Okay guys, welcome back. Um, so I left you last time with an ugly screen because Semantic UI was being funky, but the reason for that was I actually um, forgot to add this little link in here. So if you go to your client and you just look at, um, instead of going to the source folder, going to public and then index, if you add this style sheet right here, it will actually add in the semantic UI CSS that was needed. We we're just missing the CSS for it. This link right here, add it, and it'll look like this now. Um, we got our link going, we got our cards um, with the two uh, items we had in there. And now, what I kind of want to do is show you uh, a slight problem that there is right now. So, if I add some more items to this, um, they will get out of order. So for example, I'm just going to post using Postman again. I'm going to create uh, a recipe. Um, let's make sure I have the server started up for the back end. So get out of this. Okay, so the server is running for the client and the server is running for the back end. Excellent. Um, so I'm just going to post the recipes. I'm going to create a recipe called A, send it. Create a recipe called B. Your SP called C, and then D. And now, if we go back, we can see refresh the page, we should see them added. Now, this is kind of weird. We added D last, but D is right here. They seem to be added in no particular order at all. And what I would like to happen is have the newest item, newest recipe added first. So what we actually need to do is create a created at in the uh, kind of follow uh, the timestamp of when they're created. So we're going to do this in the server and then we can sort it on the client side. So we go back um, and we open up our backend. Um, and we can go ahead, we can shut down the server for now. And the first thing we're going to do is we want to generate a hook. So feathers generate hook. Now what this does is it's going to go and uh, go through the dialog and help us set up a hook. And what a hook does is you can create a before or after hook. We're going to create a before hook and this is run before the item is added to the database. So we're going to call it process. This is going to be a before hook. Um, and we're going to be using this for the recipe service and we want to do it on create so that's perfect and then that's it we're going to exit out of that and then we're just going to go to services sorry source services our recipe and then hooks and then you should see a process js file that was generated for us open that up and what we're going to do is we're just going to add in a uh, timestamp of when the object is created. So the hook dot data, this is um, the data that has passed. So hook dot data would have the name, the ingredients, and the directions in it. And we want to add a little thing called like created at and then add the date to it. Now we don't want to add it in the client. We could because we're going to do this for every single one. So it's easier just to put it in the server right here. So what we can do is we can do hook.data and then um, we're going to do object dot assign and then an empty object and then hook.data and then a new object and what this does is basically combining this hook data with another object um, which is going to be created at and then we're just going to create a new date get time. And that's it. So what this does right here, and we can get rid of that, we don't really need it. What this does is it's creating a new uh, object and just keeping all the attributes hook.data had and just adding a created at uh, property to it. So now it's going to just add the time and allow us to sort it. So that's awesome. And we can get rid of this comments. We don't need those. Okay, so 
now if we restart our server. So npm start in our back end. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do a new recipe. Add that. And you'll notice there's a new field here, created at. And if we actually just open up the data folder and then recipes, you'll notice there's this created at field, whereas all the rest of these did not have that. So we're now able to sort by this field. So I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of, shut down the server first. I'm going to just, these, this is just a file we can change. So I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, the data because we want to just have uh, new objects with the create at property and those didn't have it. So get rid of that. Um, and you can restart the server. I'm just going to add a few more recipes. So, go your recipe A, B, and now if we come back over here, we should see the recipes. Your recipe B, A, but they're not sorted yet. So, to sort them, we're going to go back to our client. We're just going to go to source. So, I'm back in the client folder. Um, where our React stuff is. So I'm going to go to Source, Services, API. And then notice how we're using Git. Instead of Git, we're just going to use Find. So, and when you use Find, you have to make a query. And in our query, what we'd like to do is sort. What we would like to sort by? Well, the create at date and then you just tell it whether you want it to be ascending or descending and if you do a negative one what that will do is that will give us the uh, most recently added which is what we want and if we just save that refresh the page hopefully we should see oh looks like we have a little bit of error oh I just need to get rid of had an extra little curly brace there we are I'll go like that now refresh we have B a new recipe now if we go ahead and add a new recipe newest hopefully we should see it first and it is awesome so now we're sorting all the recipes by the new, newestly added. That's exactly what we want. Um, next thing we'd like to do is instead of posting every time we want to add a recipe um, using Postman, I would like just to have a form. And I'd also like some nice images on these cards. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to create a form, submit that to our API, make a post request just like in Postman, adding it to the database, and then showing some images and some cards here. So thank you guys for watching.